We're back now with a sisterhood story behind a sweet tradition that goes back decades in the Pittsburgh area. It's called the Wedding Cookie Table. And now, thanks to social media, it is spreading to people around the country, all baking with a common ingredient, love. In Pittsburgh, you'll hear the expression that we don't ask what did the bride wear to the wedding. We ask how are the cookies. It's a sight to behold at many Pittsburgh weddings. Hundreds, maybe even thousands of cookies ready to treat guests. Hey, girl. Oh, it smells so delicious. Known as the wedding cookie table. It's a tradition that's been baked into the culture of this area for decades. Laura McGone, an avid baker, is the founder of the Facebook group, the Wedding Cookie Table Community. The wedding cookie table tradition is all about community. It is the celebration of a new life starting for a couple and supporting that couple and showing love through the generosity of baking. What's sweeter than the confections themselves is the sisterhood behind it. Mostly women in the family, mothers, grandmothers, aunts, and friends of the bride and groom, baking cookies by the dozens and setting up intricate displays like sisters Bonnie Beasy and Barbara Petrosky. When a wedding is being announced in our family, people will come to us and say, what do you need? I'll be more than happy to bake anything you need. I love when people look at the cookie tables. You did all that? Because it is a labor of love. We like to do things for other people without being asked. We don't expect anything in return. It's in how we care for each other and nurture each other. For years, Laura sifted through the history of the tradition, which originated in Pittsburgh and neighboring Youngstown, Ohio, dating back to the 1940s. We had immigrants coming from many parts of Europe, bringing their own culture with them. And a cookie was a little bit of a luxury item, so this was definitely an act of generosity for people to bake these things and, and bring them to celebrations. It's the coming together of so many cultural and ethnic backgrounds. Those roots are reflected in the kinds of treats wedding guests see today. The most popular cookie at a wedding is the Lady Lock. The peach cookie, the Kaufman's thumbprint cookie, gobs. Some people might call them whoopie pies itself, biscotti, pecan tassies, kolache, the peanut butter blossom, the buckeye, the linzer cookie with hearts. I could just go on for days about all the different cookies. Do you want me to keep going? The tradition has now sprinkled to other parts of the country, gaining popularity partly due to the more than 200,000 members of Laura's online community, dishing out tips, swapping recipes, and of course, posting photos of their sweet treats. More than just being a virtual community, we have activities and special causes that we support, and I think that brings people together. Like setting the Guinness World Record for the largest cookie table in 2019, 88,425 cookies to be exact, or creating displays to support breast cancer or the grieving families in Nivoli. It's community coming together in the good times and the bad. Watch out for the eel today. Today, families hope to keep the tradition alive by instilling the same spirit of kindness and generosity for generations to come. <laughs> Baking is a way that we show love on Valentine's Day or any day of the year. We might just show up at your door with cookies just to let you know that we care about you. All baked with love. The Facebook group also holds an annual gathering they call the Cookie College. This year's event is in May, where fellow bakers can catch up, watch demos, and of course, get their hands on all those cookies. And look this, at how this is beautiful. The Wedding Cookie Table community sent us our very own cookie table for Valentine's Day. We were kind of going through all these cookies, but this is like too many cookies to eat. If only we had some extra folks hanging around. Oh, Everybody, producer, have anything with plates. I know. <laughs> <That's> serious. <laughs> These are good. They're really good. We made these all for you guys. You know, you can tell a lot by a person by the kind of cookie they take. That's like your true. first cookie. What did you go with? I went with uh, cinnamon sugar. That was her nickname in middle school. There you go. There you go. Never gets old. Happy Valentine's Day, gang.
All you can eat, by the way, all you can eat. When we come back, some life lessons about love, about relationships on this Valentine's Day, like how to figure out your partner's love language. Mm -hmm. oh, maybe it's cookies. We're not. Right back after this. What's up,